Um, I, I, obviously, the team didn't play uh, its best tonight. How would you rate the the effort, and how did the group take accountability in the locker room post game? Yeah, well, I mean, we were not very good, and. Um, you know, we didn't have the mindset in Chicago, quite scary. I said that's a tough matchup for us because they're very aggressive and what they do is, is you know, um, was tough for us all night long. Um, you know, we all need to take ownership. I just don't blame the players too. It's on me too. I have to make sure that they're prepared and I'm ready to go. But um, sometimes you need a loss and to kick up the butt to, to face some adversity and how you respond. So maybe in hindsight and I'm always a half glass full and – yeah, maybe this is what we need because we're not as good as – we're not where we need to be and we have to have some a little bit more grittiness and griminess and resiliency and we didn't show that tonight. So that's just dis, um, disappointed in, the, in, our, in our effort. They, but credit to Chicago. They played a really strong game. Hello, all. Sorry it didn't go your way tonight. My question is for uh, Coach and Sabrina. Um, if there's one positive to take away from the, this game tonight, it's the efforts on the Yara Sabli, a team best, uh, plus 13 when, they, when she was on the floor tonight. So what can you say about Niara's development and, how, and how, what dynamic does it bring to the bench that there's a more traditional center type on the floor this time around coming off the bench to spell John Quell, especially when she's in foul trouble like she was tonight? Yeah, Niara was great. I mean, I should have, you know, on me, I should have went back to her a little bit more in that second half. Um, you know, we made a bit of a run, didn't we? And then, but when we went down again, I probably should have thrown her in there. She was, that's, we, we always knew she had great potential. Uh, she's fulfilling that potential. She's going to keep learning. But she's a, a really, you know, just a big body and athlete. And, you know, we wanted our post players to roll and she did. She was a, she got some easy baskets there and, and finished well at the rim. Um, uh, that excites me. We'll have to keep building on that, and um, and we will because we're going to need her. But because she is so strong in the position that she has, especially when rebounding, we got smashed. Thanks. Hey, Sandy, back here. Two of the team's best defenders, Benaji and John Quell, kind of struggled. Both finished with five fouls, I believe. Just how tough was it with them? Like, what was Chicago doing that kind of made it difficult for them on the defensive end, where they shined so far in the first few games? Yeah, look, I don't think – you know, I just didn't think we played in the right way. And that's – I think that just how we came out of the gates, I thought we took bad shots and we didn't execute our, our way we wanted to. And that for me, that's a little bit of mindset. How do we prepare the, the game mentally? Um, you know, some days everyone's going to have a bad day here and there, aren't they? I mean, that's part of basketball and um, it's making sure you don't have two bad days in a row. And um, like I said, we all got to hold ourselves accountable. It's not just those players, but, you know, everyone should be looking in the mirror. How can I do better? And how can, which means will help us be better. Hi, all. A uh, question for anybody. Uh, the team had just four buckets in the paint in the first half, three of them from Niara on some of those cuts early. But then you seem to solve something in the second half in terms of getting to the rim. What did the sky do so well in the first 20 minutes and what adjustments were you able to make to open up the lane a little bit in the second? Um, to be honest, I think we were just settling. Um, it wasn't anything that, that they necessarily did. Um, I think we all just came down and didn't take our best shot um, in terms of you know offensively we were rushed. We were taking the first available shot instead of our best shot and I think we were able to kind of slow it down, get stops on defense, and in turn push the ball in transition, get the ball in the paint. Um, Niara did a great job in the first half of just finding pockets to be able to roll and, and get um, great looks around the rim. And we have to go to that more and, and use that because I think that's um, – she does it really well and um, it really provides a lift for us with her coming off the bench and doing that. Hi, everybody. I'm for Sandy. In the second half, you guys were getting shots at the rim. I, I want to say about maybe like five or six just rolled off. Do you think it was anything where the group was putting too much pressure on themselves to sort of get back in it? Or do you think it was just one of those bad breaks that happen sometimes? Yeah, we miss free throws too. And usually we shoot free throws pretty good. Um, I don't know. I mean, is it a, a, something we're thinking, we're overthinking or the aggressiveness of Chicago because they were being very, um, you know, physical at the rim. And But we got to make those shots. I mean... Uh, just like when we played them in the preseason, we started off and I think we missed like <laughs> seven layups. And, you know, we're, we're professionals. We should make those shots. So we shouldn't miss that many. We shouldn't miss so many free throws. So, look, it was a bad night at the office. You know, it's not the end of the world. The sun comes up tomorrow. We're going to learn from it and we're going to move forward and get ready for Minnesota. Coach, um, 
you just mentioned preseason. What did you see differently versus preseason? Anything that you weren't anticipating that you wish you had changed or um, and player also? Yeah, look, um, I don't think they changed too much. They played the way that they played and, and transitioned. They've got very athletic guards. They've got very mobile bigs. Um, they they um, they play well together. They've got an exceptional shooter in Maybury. Um, you know, so it, it was just a tough matchup for us all night long. Um, you know, we get to play them again. You know, it'll be an opportunity. We have to be better. But for me, it's like I'm not looking forward to, to that. I'm just looking at Minnesota. We have to go to Minnesota and we have a quick turnaround and um, play against a really good team. Hey, Slute, um when you look at the points in the paint, you know, Chicago was able to get a, a few more than, than New York. What do you think uh, was working at the times when you were able to get the ball down low? And, and what do you think, Chicago, what adjustments did they make in game that made it more difficult? Uh, <clears throat> more difficult for us or for the – for to get pay, point paints? Or, uh, well, I think, you know, JJ is a big part of that for us and her dealing with fa foul trouble. Um, you know, that's, that's a big par part of us missing her for, you know, a lot of minutes in the first half in 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 paint, um, but yeah, I think Sabrina touched on it. We settled a little. We didn't um, get into the paint, especially me getting uh, downhill. You know, just trying to get into the paint to get open shots. Um, you know, like we all said, they're they're a tough team. We didn't play our best. Um, this happens, but we'll learn from it. I uh, just wanted to ask each player a question with Sabrina getting downhill tonight. You know, six assists, twenty shots, um, but it seemed like. You were generating a lot of the high quality looks, a lot of the high quality possessions you guys had. Just how did you feel with the ball in your hands and about your decision making overall tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think just the um, ability to get downhill and create assists, um, that's something that um, obviously my team needs for me in terms of just being able to attack and collapse defenses. And then when they didn't, I was able to get to the basket. And so obviously that's something that I'm going to have to continue to do. I took some quick shots and probably not great shots, especially um, kind of on their run, but I think that's something that I'm able to learn from and um, continue to improve on. But I think overall, Sudi touched on it, it's not the end of the world. It's one game. We knew we weren't going to win every single game this year, but I think it goes to show when the game's ugly what we need to improve on in, in ways that we need to be able to grind um, grind a win out ugly, and we didn't do that tonight. And then, oh, sorry. Oh, no, he had another one. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> For Sludi. For Sludi. Yeah, it'll be quick. Um, just how much of a, a focus has it been for you in terms of taking jumpers when teams try to go underneath screens on you? I mean, you had a couple early, uh, took a few more, so just wondering if that's something, you know. You're yeah, it's always a balance for me, you know, um, being aggressive and taking that shot, but, you know, still trying to get the best shot available. Um, you know, the, as the season goes on, I'll learn how teams are guarding me and and continue to get better at that. But, yeah, early, you know, I'm – I think I passed on a few that I should have, maybe took one that I shouldn't have. But, uh, you know, I think that all is a learning experience and um, every team's going to guard a little bit different. Every post player will be a little different. Um, so just get into a rhythm that way. Salute. I just wanted to, you know, you kind of just talked about the impact of not having John Quell, you know, in the game a lot. Um, I wanted to ask, you know, them early getting her in foul trouble, how did that affect the game for you guys offensively and just your flow throughout the game? It's, at times you guys seem stagnant and stuff. Um, you know, does with her in the game, does that help you guys uh, flow and yeah. help your rhythm throughout um, the game? Offensively, you know, of course, it's paint touches. Um, she's been great for us down there. Offensive rebounds, putbacks, those type of things. She impacts the game. Um, but I think the biggest thing was just her defensively uh, missing that our rim protector. Um, also, she has to play a little, you know, hesitant when she comes back because she doesn't want to be in foul trouble. Um, you know, those are the ways that she's been protecting the paint for us very well. Um, and we missed that tonight. I think that accounts for a lot of their points in the paint um, that impacted the game.